on. So obviously I have a different hair color on right now. Don't be alarmed, it is a wig. I got wigs for Christmas. Thought I'd incorporate it into a tutorial for you guys. Uh, it's pretty easy to put on and I can tell you guys the brand. Give me one second. So I can't find the brand of this wig, but I will let you guys know in the comments section below. I don't remember, but yeah, I mean, if you're thinking about getting a wig just for fun, I would definitely do it because it's really cool. So yeah, <laughs> this is the finished look. Um, this is my finished look of this video, so if you guys like this or are interested to find out how I got this wig on or how I did this look, please keep watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you and the rest of the video will start now. So for Christmas, my mom bought me a few wigs. So this is one of them and today I'm going to attempt to put it on and do a look with it. So let's get started. Injection. My inspiration for this look is Kylie Jenner before she got her lip injections. Let's dive right in. <laughs> today I'm going to try something new with my Laura Geller. Laura Geller. I'm going to try something new today with my Laura Geller Dew Dreamer drops. I'm going to use it as a primer. This should be interesting. Is that a thing? Yeah, some people do it. So I'm just gonna drop it around my face. Grandma, be quiet, please! Livy, Grandma's filling a YouTube of Livy, Grandma! We're gonna look very shiny today. So obviously this looks really weird right now, but once I put foundation on, everything will be all right. I'm using my True Match Lumi Luminous Glow Foundation by L'Oreal. Blending it in with my damp beauty blender. So my skin obviously looks pretty shiny right now. But once I use my Kylie Your Perfect Setting Powder, everything will be fine. So I'm using this brush. Big brush for my face. I'm just going to dip into this powder. And I'm just gonna apply it all over my face to make my face look a little less shiny. Really gets the job done. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Isn't that crazy? Five seconds ago, my face looked like I just went for a five mile run, and now I'd say it's looking pretty good. Yeah, that's really good stuff. Tarte Shape Tape, you guys know the drill. Let's get our triangles going. So, I know I said I would be posting a vlog, but we had some technical difficulties with the video, so that might not be up. I probably will be getting one up soon. So I hope you guys aren't too upset. I'm tapping the concealer into my skin, not swiping. Again, I'm going to use a Kylie setting powder. Tap it underneath my eyes. Just to set the concealer into place, put it on my chin, my nose. I know that I say I usually don't contour, but today I'm going to try something new for you guys. I'm going to use this. Luxie Pro Precision Face Brush and I got this a long time ago so hopefully it works out. It's the MYX Wonder Stick. It has a highlighting side and a contouring side. So what I'm gonna do is put it up like so. Take my brush, just kind of rub it in and then go like this. So when you're contouring, I do know that you're supposed to start like where your ear is and go down your cheekbones. But this is just going to make my cheekbones look snatched. I'm actually really loving the way my skin looks from that, from when I put this on. I don't know. I'm feeling it. So I'm just going for a natural contour, kind of tapping my brush in. So maybe I'll try contouring my nose. Let's do something crazy. Draw the lines. So 
So I drew a line, two lines down the sides of my nose, here and here. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and press this in. It was easier than I had anticipated. I'm gonna put some bronzer on top of that just to set it in place on top of my contour, the same bronzer. If you guys have any good bronzer recommendations, let me know because I've been using this one for a while. It's just my go-to. But I want to try out new products for you, so if there's anything you guys want me to try out or if you have a bronzer you love, let me know. So it's just the Laura Geller bronzer again. So I'm going to try to switch up the products for you in the video just so you could see two new products. I know that two people had came to me and told me they went out and bought the foundation I used in the first video, which made me really excited, honestly. Um, so... Just let me know if there's anything you want me to try. And then, I don't know, this is looking a little much to me. I'm just not used to it. So I'm going to go in just with this brush just to kind of blend everything in. I'm just going to go in circles. A little less dramatic. Already wearing a pink wig. What more do I need? Honestly, when I put it on, I felt like Lola from Hannah Montana. And also, my hair is super long. So I'm going to need to figure out how I'm going to get wigs on without my hair showing because it's difficult. You're doing amazing, sweetie. I'm going to use this blush called I Raised You on Mac and Cheese. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but I don't believe it. It's a pretty color. My face is complete, so I'm going to move on my, to my eyeshadow. And also before anyone points it out, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but yes... My nail broke off. Um, last night it was tragic, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Look, I just flipped a switch. Flip, and it's staying off because don't forget when you're leaving the house, don't forget to turn off your lights because it helps your parents save electricity on the electricity bill. So I'm going to be using the I Want It All palette too by Kylie. I'm going to start off with Forever Young, this pretty pink shade. Okay, so taking my... Morphe M501 brush. I'm going to start with this transition sheet. Sometimes when I start these looks, I really don't know what I'm doing. I kind of just go with it. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but I thought I'd let you guys know that it's okay to not know what you're doing as long as you figure out at the end. And that goes for makeup and life. The one thing, this is kind of off topic, but I felt that everyone should know this. One thing my dad told me, which was probably the best piece of advice he's ever given me, is there's no point of stressing about things because they always get done. You always end up doing them. So don't stress about it. Just do it, you know? It's pointless stress. Really off topic, but I thought maybe I'll give you guys a piece of advice here and then so we can all use it. The best advice my dad gave me is whenever you walk in the room, act like you're the best person in the room because you are. No wonder why you're so narcissistic. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, so we're gonna use this color, the new black, love it, in this Morphe M514 brush. Deep in the crease, make this look a little darker, a little pinkier. Are you seriously doing an ab workout right now? It's called, it's called dead bugs. Why are you doing it? I don't know. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm trying to figure out what color to use on my lid. Wait, what if you just do your Stilla? Oh, that's a great idea. Oh my god, look, I just used two colors in the crease and then I'm going to go in with the Stilla liquid eyeshadow in the color Kitten Karma. And if you guys are just starting out in makeup or love makeup, any type of thing like that, I would go get a color of these. I don't, doesn't matter what color, if you like pink, they're, they have every. Go out and get this super easy. I mean, all you would really have to do is put a color in the crease and then put this on your lids and you're ready for a night out with the girls. Uh. This is not something I usually say. <laughs> <laughs> the camera changes people. Sorry. Going in with this, the, the new black again. I'm going to blend these two together. 
I'm actually really excited to put on this wig. You know what, guys? <laughs> I don't feel like putting on thick lashes today, so we're gonna go natural. But the next video, I promise I will put fake lashes on on camera to teach you guys how to do it. But this time, feeling a little lazy. So, instead we're going to use this It's Superhero mascara. And when I'm not putting on fake lashes, I like to use my, ma twirl my mascara, twirl the brush from the very bottom, kind of shake it up. Oh, this mascara is making my lashes really thick. Okay, we're going to use a different mascara. Essence, Essence Lash, Essence Lash Princess. Okay, so to complete this eye look, we gotta do the lower lash line. And I'm gonna go in with this color, Forever Young. It's almost time for the wig. <laughs> Money doesn't grow on trees. And I'm gonna use this fan brush. So I'm gonna do my brows a little darker than usual since my wig has some black in it. Grandma, I'm filming! Please be quieter! <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> Can she not hear me? <laughs> I'm filming! Can you please talk quieter? I love her to death, but <laughs> she's loud! <laughs> And for those of you judging me for speaking to my grandma that way, <laughs> we're best friends. We can talk to each other whatever way we want. <laughs> no, seriously though. She lives with us and she's like a second mom to me, so she can handle it. In this, but for my brows, I'm using the Chella <sighs> eyebrow cream. So for my lips, I'm pretty excited about this. It looks green, but it's not green on the lips. It changes to the color of your lips, so it's going to be a little pink color. And it came in set pure times the Grinch. X the dr So it would look different on everyone's skin tone. It depends on what skin tone you have. So this is the finished look without the wig. Now we're gonna attempt to put this wig on on camera. So I got my wig cap. <laughs> wig me. Thank you. Love getting my hair brushed. No, don't do that. So, I got this crazy wig on. <sighs> wig, I mean, I feel a little weird because I have pink hair, but I like I'm it. I'm kind of liking it. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I get why people would do this, would wear wigs. And I got two more for you guys, so. So get excited. So I hope you guys liked this, and I hope you guys don't judge me for my hair color right now. Um, but I just think it's fun to play with wigs. I mean, it's just, it's cool. I get why Hannah Montana wanted to do it. Um, so thanks for watching, and I should have a vlog up soon. So stay tuned to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon.